Today, I'm going to be answering your questions that you kindly submitted. So thank you to everyone that stopped by to give me a question. We've got a lot of them. So let's get started and let's begin. I just want to know how are you? I'm good, thank you. Um, I'm grateful just to be living. Ooh, my favorite food is whatever it is, it's got to be spicy. I love spice. I love heat. It attracts me to food. <laughs> so spicy. How have I been coping with this pandemic? Just having time to reflect and doing the things that I've not ever gotten the time to do. Keeping up with loved ones, friends, and just, I've traveled, but not at the speed I used to travel. And um, I'm now on the African continent and I'm just enjoying the nature, really. Peace, chilled, reading, easy things, simple things, the things and simple things in life that we've so taken for granted is what I'm grateful for. <laughs> My favorite book right now, Sister of a Serial Killer, as one of them. Um, I read like three books at a time, The Promised Land. And I love Brian Weiss as an author. My stay in Nigeria was very hectic, but great. Full of creativity, did so many great things that come out, of course, Arise, which you've seen. For me, getting to work with talent that's of my culture, that's of my skin color, has been rare in my 34 year career. So I am just like embracing it and, you know, at this point where I'm able to choose who I want to work with, thankfully. Just being interpreted in a new way is always thrilling for me. So I'm looking forward for you all seeing it and seeing what you all think. How do I feel when I'm in Africa? I feel, I knew that when I was going to Lagos, Nigeria, it was a lot of work, tight schedule. But when I'm in Lagos, you just get this force of energy and it just keeps you, you just go, you just do it, you're just driven. You just get on the hustle and you just keep going. And now that I'm in Kenya, I feel very chilled. I'm still working. I've not got two more jobs to do before the end of the year, but I am very chilled. It's a different, it's a different piece in, in Kenya. But as you all know, Naomi loves the entire continent. That's a very hard question. I've enjoyed I know you're gonna be like, oh, come on. But the truth is, this was born out of really just wanting to know, keeping up with my friends and loved ones and what they were doing on my dining room table and turned into something else. And everyone that has given their time to sit and to have a conversation with me, I cannot say it's ever, I cannot differentiate of any of them being better than the other. They have all been so joyful, insightful, educational, and learning experiences for me in many ways. And even though I know some of the people really well, it's just getting to know them on a different level. I just find like when you're at home, you're more intimate. And so you're more relaxed. And so you're just really just chilling and just like, you know, doing the banter back and forth to each other in a really authentic way. And that's what I wanted from my filter. And also I wanted people to feel there was an intimacy about it, which I hope that's what you do feel. I hope my Panthers are happy. It's whatever brings joy to me. It's, you know, sometimes I'm going to these places, a lot of the times I'm going to these places actually for work, but it doesn't feel like work because I'm so happy to be there. So it's another very difficult question for me to pick a favorite city because I'm a person that goes off energy. And when the energy is like, great and vibing i'm vibing when am i coming to india well when do you want me <laughs> now i've been to india many many times i love india i'm not sure if you're aware that when i'm in india i'm, I'm not in western clothes at all i'm always in saris love everything about it just want to just immerse myself and become and blend so, um, I mean, hopefully in 2021, I'll be able to make it back to India. I miss India. Oh, now when you get me into a pharmacy or a drugstore, I could be there for hours. It could be from a plastic empty bottle to hair cream, 
shampoo, could be a new razor. Don't know, just love drugstores. I'm always looking browsing. One of my favorite makeup tricks is to put gold a little under there, right in the corners of the eye, not all the way, just in here. Um, it just gives you a little bit of, you know, I'm awake, I'm fresh. <laughs> it just gives you a bit of a little, you know, whatever, bavam vroom, whatever you call it. Well, Sir John, I don't use night creams. I use night masks, but it's a cream-based night mask. It's a Radiance night mask made of cream. And that's what I put on my skin every night. It's not too heavy though. When I was younger, I had like a, well, I'm talking about when I would do my makeup. I put like a mask on my face and it was matte. I felt like I had to be matte, there couldn't be any shiny spots. And now I, and now I look back at pictures and I'd be like, oh my God, I did that. Oh my God, where was I going? I can't believe I did that. Thinking I look great and I really did not. Um, I wear less makeup now than I did when I was younger. And I have the complete opposite. I think it's nice for the skin to be dewy and glowy and have some shiny spots and not to be too matte and just stiff looking and like you can't crack a smile type of thing. So um, I think it's really about keeping your skin supple and moisturized and getting as much um, radiance out of it and letting your skin shine through your makeup and not having to keep it always patted down, you know what I mean? I'm not someone that takes hours to pick an outfit to get ready. I usually pick it in within, within, it could be within five minutes or 10 minutes, but it's not, it never goes over 15 minutes. It's usually quite quickly, like I'm wearing this, okay? It's that. I'm just, it's very that, that with me. I know I want to wear, um, and when I'm traveling, I know what I want to take to pertain to where I'm going to and to what the culture is. But I think I kind of dress like that. The fashion industry has changed. It's such a broad question to answer in so many different ways. I mean, we didn't have social media. We didn't take digital pictures. <laughs> so the turnaround is so much faster than ever before. People want instant gratification pretty much. And when you get to show your work now, it's not just to people in your industry anymore, or people that love fashion, it's people just the reach is so much bigger. Designers have to turn around collections very quickly. It just seems that there's a constant, constant fashion week everywhere now in the world. And of course you all know that I fight for balance and diversity. We are getting better, but there's still a, quite a bit to, a way to go in a sense of um, equality and balance in payment. And also in getting those contracts Instead of just getting used at one time, you know, as like a like a standalone object, I would say. I think working with on self-love is just like listening to people that you care about, that you respect, that you love, and going through your mistakes as a human being, trying to find your way in life, and realizing that it starts with you. And then you and then pass that on. I just really, I'm someone that lives one day at a time, but I just really want to get through, get through this challenging time that we're in. And we just have to keep raising each other up. That's what we have to do. All that I've thought about and reflected about and gone over and mulled over my mind about is the things I want to put into action. And a lot of them, a lot of the things have nothing to do with me. And the most rewarding for me in my industry has been heard having these conversations that we had with designers around the world about balance and diversity, getting to actually be in some of the events as a model and seeing this beautiful array of diverse models that made me feel really that we were heard. And being heard is very important. What advice would I give for young black women trying to find themselves so don't ever let anyone change the way you feel about yourself. Stand proud, stand tall, keep persevering till you get what you want. 
you deserve the same opportunities, exactly the same opportunities, equal as anyone else. And don't let anyone try to change your mind and make you think you don't, because you sure do. Thank you again for asking your questions. Please leave your comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I will see you very soon. Round girl out. Have a happy new year. Mwah. <laughs>